Well, it's good news. We can use AI-generated content in order to make money with it, especially in writing. You can make yourself a Fiverr gig, use all sorts of different websites. There's websites all over the place. And I know that a lot of people are talking about it. I know they say, oh yeah, you can just use ChatGPT in order to create articles, but they do not mention one thing. If you use ChatGPT, well, you gotta think of safety as well, because all these other websites, they just get some sort of AI content detection tool. And you can't just go on and write an article with chat gpt and sell it the way it is let's face it ai tools are there to help us but you can't just copy and paste things but also the truth is you can make a lot of money just take a look at this for example blog post this person has been doing it like over 1000 times i know that for a fact because not everyone is going to leave a review but one of these 500 word articles blogs on a certain topic is gonna cost you $50 now standard package is 60 and premium is 90 so you can just do the math on how much money this fella has made and you can do the same but you have to have something some tool some other tool in order to help you move all that like trouble with AI generated content so let me show you what I use this is called AI Detector Pro. It's a complete solution for you because you can integrate this into your Google Sheets and inside of your Word. That's pretty handy. You can find and edit that AI inside of your documents and it'll give you a complete report on which sentence, actually which paragraphs, are going to be flagged for some AI in it. You've got a lot of videos on this website you can see and you can see that the pricing is only 13.99 per month. If you go over to the yearly version you're going to save some money as well but of course you can just go and try this one out for free. You've got three reports and then you can see if this is for you or not but trust me it's a good one. So firstly you've got it on the web. You can erase whatever you want change the way it looks as you can see it's going to highlight in red what is being scanned as a potential ai content then you've got it inside of your microsoft word add-in it's a really good thing and soon they're coming to google docs so how does this work you should just enter the text you want to check you can simply paste the text from a source or enter the url of a page and they can do that as well they can just go and look out on the page itself and then they do the work for you and then you will just see the parts of those documents that exhibit fingerprints of AI. What do you do next? Well, you just go and fix those. You just humanize a little bit and it has paraphrase tool inside of it. So you don't have to use Quillbot, you don't have to use Pinbot, you have everything in one place. So I think that is pretty handy. It'll just show you what needs to be changed. You don't have to go all over the place and look for it. And as I've told you, you will humanize your writing. Yeah, everybody needs that. Every like platform and all of these clients that you might take on, they will have some sort of AI content detection it's gonna work the same on my favorite website where i sell my articles it's called text broker and they've got it you know i like this text broker website i don't know if you have ever encountered this before but this one pays you really really well money actually you've got this calculator which you can choose for example if your article is like four stars and you were in the article for like 1000 words you are gonna get 16 dollars for it but as i've told you they have AI content detection tool. One more website is iWriter, and I use it sometimes. It's a good one. You can just write content, make yourself an application. There is going to be like this essay about yourself. So for example, tell us about yourself and why would you like to write for iWriter? And down there, there is a little test of your research ability. But other than that, it's a really simple thing. Now, a lot of people will hate me for saying this, but the best way in order for you to start is to go over to some freelance platforms, Fiverr and Upwork. Those are the best ones. There is a lot of competition there. Yes, I know there's a lot of other people doing it, but you have everything in place. First of all, you've got passion for writing, right? Second of all, you've got AI tools. You have ChatGPT. And then on top of it, you've got AI Detector Pro. Now, for the last thing, I just want to show you how you can approach this. For example, how to structure the approach on ChatGPT. Because I see that a lot of people are just making these videos and they tell you, okay, ChatGPT, write me an article about pigeons in, I don't know, 500 words. And that's like as far as their prompt go. But as any other tool, you have to invest the time in these prompts as well. So let's do it like this, like give me five ideas for an article about pigeons. And firstly, 
you can get ideas from ChatGPT. This use case is something that I really like because you are in a writer's block many, many times, right? You know it. And this is the perfect way to get out of it. You just use it as an inspiration, you know? But then after it, once you choose the topic or you combine some of these, then you ask for an outline. You know, outline is something that will make you structure. Let's just say for number four, and it'll give you the whole outline for yourself so you can just go and follow it all right so you see introduction part two part three four five and as far as it goes and then you go start right one by one go make this into your word just copy and paste and then just use the add-on from ai detector pro in order to just find those parts that AI Detector Pro thinks it's just too much of an AI. So this is actually how you do it. You know, there's no other way around it. You can make just like, as I've told you, just give me an article about that and that, but it's gonna be bad and it's gonna be short and it's not gonna have a lot more information. Now, if you do have certain knowledge about the topic that you are writing about, this is just gonna use you as a structure and some form of inspiration because when you see the outline, you will just know what to write about. You know, it will just open your mind in a way that when you see this topic, when you see the outline and all of these little subtopics, you will know what to write about. For example, if you are writing an article about fitness and you go to gym, you will know what to talk about. And that is the best thing that can happen to any writer, right? And in the end, you will have completely humanized article and you didn't like stress too much. That is really, really important nowadays to have really humanized text, but without stressing too much, especially when it comes to research, right? ChatGPT can do a lot of research for you and you don't have to go over and visit 100 Google pages, you know? So that's a thing. Combine that, ChatGPT, just use it for inspiration and AI Detector Pro is gonna help you a lot as well. So that's a formula for today. Not hard, not stressful, but you do have to invest a bit of your time and effort in order to make it really good. So start that writing right away. I'll catch you next time.